If you are looking for a frame that can do pretty much anything in Warframe and make Steel Path an absolute joke, then you need to consider getting Protea. Welcome back to another video everyone, today we're going to be looking at Protea and how to get her the build that we're going to be looking at and what you can use her for in Warframe and what she's good at. Leave a like on this video and hit the subscribe button, let's dive straight into it. Firstly, how to farm Protea. When you have completed the Deadlock Protocol quest, you will acquire Protea's main blueprint. Warning, slight spoilers ahead for the quest. If you don't want any spoilers, then just skip this segment, or if you don't care, just keep watching. After you have completed the quest, you get access to the Granum Void. Now, the Granum Voids are only accessible on the Corpus Ship tile set. I want to reiterate that it's only the Corpus Ship tile set. On these tile sets, you get a corpus treasure that spawns every two to four minutes in a mission. Now, depending on the level of the area, you will get one of the three types of granum crowns that they drop. These granum crowns are used to open up the granum voids, which are fine at the golden hand on these tile sets. The three granum crown types are the granum crown, exemplar granum crown, and the zenith granum crown. The best places to farm these treasures and also the respective paths for Protea as well. So what you can do is farm the treasures and then open up the Granum Void and just rinse and repeat until you get the part. The best places are as follows. For Granum Crowns, Skyresh, which is a capture mission, which is on Phobos. The Exemplar Granum Crowns, you do Triton, which is the rescue mission on Neptune. Then the Zenith Granum Crown, which is Hydra, the capture mission on Pluto. These are the best places to farm this. For the Exemplar Crowns, you can also use the Sabotage Mission Adrastia on Jupiter. That also works as well. The best frames to use for the Granum Crowns are as follows. Mesa using her fourth ability to kill all the enemies really fast. A simple Vault Nuke build that you could use for ESO farming. That could work there as well. Saren Spores. What you can do is use a Kuva Ogress. And if you have access to it, you can use Energized Munitions to sustain your tiny ammo pool that the Ogress now has. However, just use any other weapon or frame that you feel comfortable as long as you know that you can beat the objective. Each part will drop from the respective crowns. So the Neuroptics will drop from normal Granum Crowns, the Chassis will drop from the Exemplar Granum Crowns, and the Systems will drop from the Zenith Granum Crown. You will need to fully kill all the enemies and complete the objective to get the chance at obtaining the part. That is very, very important. Let's go over Protea's abilities. I'm going to be quick, so keep up with me. Her one is grenades that gives you shields. Hold down that ability to give you over shields. And then when you tap it, you throw down grenades that deal slash damage. However, don't really use the slash damage grenades. They're not very strong. Just use the ones for your shields because you will never die if you use this ability because you have shield gating with this. Her second ability is her heat turret and these do a lot of damage. Her third ability is dispensary, the guard tier support ability that drops health, energy, and ammo. Very, very strong ability. Her fourth ability does a weird time thingy that reverses time. I don't even know. It confuzzles me as well. Just subsume her four with something else. I'm going to be 100% honest with you here. Passive ability is every fourth ability cast gets 100% strength. Nice. Let's talk about the mods. Growing power or any other aura that you have available. Prime's continuity or normal continuity. Blind rage. Rolling guard. Equilibrium. This is very, very strong. Prime flow or normal flow. Stretch. Augur Message and then Archon Vitality. However, this can be changed out for more duration like Constitution. Archon Vitality makes Protea's Heat Turrets do a lot more damage as it applies the Heat procs twice, dealing more damage in the long run. Malt Augmented or Malt Efficiency, if you don't have these, just substitute them for something else. Repair Dispensary for the extra slot. What subsume should you use? Gloom 100%. Just use Gloom. It is disgustingly strong with Protea's kit. Otherwise, Terrify for Armor Strip or Raw or Eclipse will work well. What is Protea good for in Warframe? Literally anything. She is insanely strong and has a lot of utility and she is basically invulnerable because of her one, provided of course you're watching her shield the whole time. Her grenades also replenish excavator's shields, which is really good for doing excavation. Her heat turrets make her a very viable option for missions where you have to defend an objective or sit in one spot or help the team out and survival missions as well. Her dispensary ability is such a good energy sustain for you and your team, especially with the synergy of equilibrium for yourself. You basically have infinite energy with this Protea build. You will never run out of energy. It is disgustingly strong. And of course, Gloom just works well with anything, so you have insane CC, so the enemies can basically barely hit you. Now, one way to make Protea's heat turrets do an insane amount of damage is to prime with the new core and apply a whole bunch of heat procs before you pop the heat turrets. Deploy them, 
after you've primed and you will do a lot more damage this is very good for single target and doing high level disruption when you're trying to take out the demolishers so you basically magus lock down the target armor strip prime with your new core and then deploy your turrets and they will die very very quickly all right so i have hopped in game here for you to see how to play protea as just a general frame but what you want to basically do is you want to press your grenade fan so that you see there i get my shields and that way you can always sustain your shields and never die then what you want to do is pop down your dispensary when you pop down your dispensary you will get look at that a lot of energy and health and so yeah and as you can see there on the bottom right now you see i nearly died i just press one again boom i'm back up to 1100 shield and you see i'm busy losing it losing it and when it dies again i'll get shield gate and then just pop that again so it's pretty easy now what i want to explain to you is the synergy of her of her passive so basically on the bottom right you see those bars there watch when i pop my second ability there's one bar another bar and then there and then this is the 100 ability strength so that's basically saying that the next ability will get an extra 100 ability strength so what you want to do is when that happens you want to obviously pop gloom so gloom has an extra 100 ability strength that way you can get the maximum amount of slow and the maximum amount of of lifesteal and so yeah so you basically want to make sure that gloom is up for dispensary because of repair dispensary you want to hold down your dispensary button so that it drops this otherwise if you press it it will do that thing where it tries to revive your companion otherwise you can remove the repair dispensary if you don't like that or whatever that's fine it works too like you see there i die just reactivate gloom at 100 percent ability strength and look at that look how slow they are shooting they can barely hit me and then i just press two and then they will just slowly but surely start to die all right guys that is all for this video thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that this helped and you know now how to play protea and have fun killing everything in warframe she's a great frame thank you all so much for the support recently and i will see you all in the next one play protea i, I said play play just just do it just do it do it